TV powered by Community Therapy. Today we speak about TheraBands. Uh, many people have probably seen these or used these before. We might just speak through a couple of reasons why they're awesome. You often see these flat type of TheraBands. There are Thera-like tubes as well, so quite thin. Um, there is advantages to having those as well. Um, they can be a little bit more durable, the tubes, but both the band and the tubes do suffer from um, fatigue uh, from the rubber over time and they will fracture. They're subject to um, deteriorating under heat, but over time as well. So um, you're always watching for the integrity of the band if it's starting to get dry um, or discolored, it's probably close to its breaking point. So there is a little bit of a risk from TheraBands of a little bit um, of like a, a snap back um, and flick onto the arm or leg when you're using them. So that's something to be cautious of, but mainly looking at the integrity. So this one's nice and new, shiny, great color. You can see that um, it's not at a risk of fracturing. So we're always looking at that for people. Why would you use it? Um, they're low cost. So you often can have something like this for a matter of a couple of dollars. Uh, they're quite easy to access now. Most retail stores, um, so big stores like in Australia, um, Big W, Kmart, etc., will have these types of things sitting in their fitness shelves. More fitness stores, of course, like Rebel Sport, etc., will have these as well. Um, or just going on Google and searching TheraBand, and you'll see eBay. Um, Amazon and all different online retails, retailers being able to ship them to you as well. One of the biggest reasons they're awesome is they're portable. So if you're going on holidays, if you're um, needing to move location, going to someone else's house, um, they're just so easy to um, pack up and put in a bag. So for clinicians, so as physiotherapists, uh, for example, out on the road, we really love TheraBands of being able to take them and give them to people. You're always cautious around infection control, so we tend to look at these as single-use products in the community and distribute those to those that we're working with. What sort of exercises can you do? Heaps of exercises. A lot of the time, people will do upper body exercises. You can do them in seating, you can do them in standing. There are ways to look at wrapping these around feet and doing leg exercises as well. Often on a technical term, you're doing isotonic exercises. So the muscles are moving while you're moving the band. There's other exercises that you would refer to as like isometric, meaning more like holds. And some things will be a combination of that. So I could be helping somebody with uh, back pain, shoulder pain, looking to build strength through the back and shoulders. And we might be doing uh, some isotonic movements with like an isometric hold uh, to build up those muscles. So many different reasons. You can definitely be um, using these yourselves for fitness. If you don't know what sort of exercises you should do for yourself, you should be engaging with the appropriate healthcare professional, which typically for older adults and people living with disabilities will be a physiotherapist when you're looking to build strength. Other healthcare professionals involved might be an exercise physiologist, um, an allied health assistant, um, more, so, more so in the fitness community. Personal trainers will use bands all the time. Occupational therapists will use them. Many different healthcare professionals will be looking at using TheraBands to improve strength. So if you're looking to improve strength, but you don't want to invest in a whole lot of equipment and heavy equipment, just know for a matter of 10 to $20, you can really um, add resistance to your muscles and look to build some muscles. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.